Greetings my dear friends and welcome back to your favorite YouTuber Johnny M and this is my journey on Honeydew Farms XL. In today's episode at least we will start where we uh, finished last time. We have to harvest uh, this cornfield and then we have another field which we'll do right after it. Uh, this time I'm using a helper to run my uh, uh, modified uh, ideal combine. And when I say modified, I of course mean my tier system, which again, for those who just joined in, is just my way of upgrading all my vehicles by paying additional uh, full prices of them. And each tier gives me an increase in speed. Uh, well, an additional speed if it's... Uh, if, for example, uh, we speak about a combine. Uh, my ideal now at tier 4 uh, can harvest at uh, quadruple the speed. And also has quadruple uh, the bunker capacity. Which makes it a lot, lot more easy... Uh, well, a mo lot more powerful and it makes the harvesting uh, roughly four times faster actually more than four times because not only it can run uh, four times faster but you have to unload it uh, four times less so so yeah for the first for the last passes i took the uh, control over the, over the combine. I'm already thinking about buying a second one to be able to use uh, both of, uh, of them in parallel using helpers and me just driving uh, the truck uh, from one to another to uh, unload, unload them. This should make the things even uh, faster. Yeah, before unloading I went to fill up my gas tank or my diesel tank I should say on my track truck yeah this color is looks a lot lot better than the default one and this is a modded fan and the only difference that it has is uh, the color it's green Although I uh, already found another ideal combine mod which introduces uh, a number of colors. So I guess my second combine, if I'll buy one, uh, will be of that kind with another color. So I took the time to repair my truck. Because uh, as they get damaged, the equipment becomes less and less uh, efficient. Um, I assume the power of truck decreases, but I still don't have confirmation. I know for sure that the speed, the maximum speed of implements goes down. So you always should have your implements as repaired as possible. As for my mixer, it's still at tier 4, I'm thinking of upgrading it, but I guess I'll have to uh, first buy another combine and only after that I, I'll be looking about up upgrading my uh, mixer, because with it I should upgrade all my uh, uh, bale making uh, equ equipment, so that's an investment of no less than one, uh, than half a million I think. It's maybe more, I, uh, I don't remember, because I should upgrade also the baler, the bale wrapper, what else, the, um, the forklift, so yeah, it's, it's a lot of, uh, of stuff to upgrade. So yeah, in the meantime, I'm harvesting this canola field. I think I mentioned, but I discovered that in this version of the game um, canola has uh, almost the yield of wheat, for example, 
or barley because it used to be that canola had about uh, half of the yield of uh, wheat and barley but now it's uh, greater for some reason I don't know why they ch made this change Also, this episode I encoded it in 4K as opposed to next ones, I guess, because it took me over seven hours to encode it, so I cannot always afford to encode them in 4K to preserve more of the quality. Because when I'm recording the footage, I'm using uh, the indistinguishable quality settings, which is almost the maximum, so it's uh, the next tier below uh, lossless so the quality is really good but then and i export it with uh, about 80 megabits a second which is a lot which is more than uh, the bitrate of a of a uhd blu-ray but then youtube cuts in uh, i guess less than one eighth of that so so yeah that's why i'm i'm saying that youtube doesn't love me because it cuts down uh, the quality so much. I don't, I don't know about you, but I'm so enjoying to harvest with this um, big draper header. It's so satisfying and combined with this quadrupled capacity and speed of my combine, it's a really, really powerful tool that um, is uh, speeding up our uh, advancement so and uh, making the, f the things a lot faster. As you can see, I'm dumping this uh, uh, power foot into my silos to be used uh, later. And here I just finished uh, applying lime to my uh, latest field. Because if you remember, right away after I bought it, I couldn't apply lime, so I did it right now. Oh yeah, and it looks like we have one more field. The last one is with wheat, as you can see. Now I started to do a certain strategy because uh, when you make a U-turn, 
your straw may pile up and then after that it's harder to pick it up so what I'm doing is when I'm going to the end of the field I disable the straw swathing so <clears throat> then I enable it again so that I have nice uh, windrows Also, I'm recording the, the threshing course to use it later, but knowing me, and I like um, loading uh, straw, and also I like baling, uh, I don't know if I'll uh, end up using it, uh, in the sense that I might do the, the baling myself, manually. Yeah, there are some stuff that I don't like to do and there are stuff that I like a lot to do. For example, I don't really like to cultivate. Uh, I don't really like to, to seed. Well, sometimes I do, but not always. As opposed to that, I, I enjoy a lot to harvest and uh, bale, to bale and to load straw or grass into a wagon loader. I don't know why, for me this is more satisfying. Maybe because you get to work with the harvest, so like you have the sense of, uh, of, of achievement as opposed to just working out a field with a cultivator or a seeder. You know, when you, when you see and you can feel the crop, it's much better, I guess. And this is again one of the longest episodes. And this season, almost 27 minutes, that is almost uh, three uh, real-time hours of gameplay. That is again because sometimes I just cannot stop playing and recording, so I like to go and go. Also because sometimes, you know, I have the feeling that I haven't achieved something important in an episode, so I decide to just continue until I feel like I achieved something. Okay, and this should conclude uh, harvesting for today. I'm trying to not forget to record the course. Now I can finally start fast forwarding and watch after my pigs. So, because I had one full load of wheat, I'm splitting it in four between my uh, four pigsties. And although I just had a harvest of uh, wheat, it looks like uh, you know this normal grain, wheat and barley, is uh, the lowest grain that I have. Again, this is because of the modification, uh, in the sense that now canola has almost the same uh, yield as wheat. So uh, normally I was inclined to uh, harvest more more canola because it has lower yield, but now uh, things are a little bit different.
So another field needs lime. For that I'm gonna use, yeah, and also fertilizing is not one of my favorite things to do. Especially when you have a um, grown crop, which makes the, you know, it's, it's harder to see uh, the fertilization. If it's an empty field and it's uh, easier to see, but on a grown field it's harder. So that's why um, I tend to use more uh, a helper when doing fertilization. Uh, with lime, uh, it's easier on, on the eye to see where it has applied for uh, lime or where it doesn't. But then the width of the lime application is so low. So it takes many, many uh, passes to apply the lime. And since I, I'm still not using uh, the GPS mod, which I probably should, but I guess I'm too lazy to upgrade my vehicles with it. So yeah, as I said, I prefer to use helper for that. Okay, in the meantime, we have a fully grown generation of pigs, which means that it is time to deliver them. Although I get, well, I sell 200 pigs in one go. Usually when I have a fully grown generation of pigs, I need to do four, four deliveries which is, is taking a lot of time. I'm already thinking to upgrade my uh, truck and animal trailer, but if I'll upgrade, I'll have to upgrade it at least to double the tier that it is right now, uh, that is to tier 10, and that will require more than two millions. And yeah, I don't have this money just yet, because my plan is to if I'll upgrade it, I'll just double it so that I can load 400 pigs in one go. So 200 from uh, from two of my pigsties and then another delivery with uh, 200 of the other two. At least loading and unloading is faster and quite easy now with uh, this auto clicking um, app. As I said, I just press F6 and it double clicks for me 200 times. And then I do it again. Sometimes I forget to set it to click for a number of times and it clicks unlimited times and then I forget how to disable it and I'm trying to move my mouse to click the, the program to stop but I can because it's it's clicking constantly. So yeah, then I discover that it's actually fairly easy to stop it. You press F6 uh, the second time and that's it. But yeah, sometimes I forget. Yeah, I wanted to apply <coughs> fertiliz fertilizer on my grass. <coughs> But since it's already fully grown or I don't know, half grown, uh, for some reason I couldn't apply the second fertilization state. So I decided to leave it as it is. Well, this means that my uh, next uh, grass harvest uh, will have lower yield, but it's okay. I also was thinking about upgrading this uh, loading wagon, but it will require also to upgrade one of my tractors for it to work on tier 3, which again is costly and I cannot afford it right now, although I have 800,000 in my account, I, uh, I have other plans for it. And I also have a big debt, 
which uh, I guess it's gonna take a lot of time to get rid of. Because when I start to return some of it, then I have an idea on what to use it. So I just went and repaid 800,000 of my debt. But again, uh, in the meantime, I'll figure out what I want to upgrade next. So I may borrow even uh, more than, uh, than I had before. And I recently had a glitch, I had it a couple of times, where like um, a vehicle will just stall, so it will stop, and then you cannot tab, you cannot exit the vehicle, and I try, I push escape, and it goes into the menu, and I go and save my game, and just and then I uh, exit the game uh, you know I just uh, stop the game from the windows and then I discovered that it didn't save although I uh, it shows the icon of saving the game but it doesn't save and I had this a couple of time and I lost some of my gameplay because of that so I don't know what's the reason maybe it's one of the mods again a lot of uh, well yeah the game is still buggy of course, but a lot of times your problem comes from a mod and it's quite hard to find out which of the mods is the cause of the problem. Oh, it looks like I'll be I'll run out of uh, straw bales soon, which means that I'll have to soon um, make some more. And luckily, if you remember, I have a field with straw in it. So it will suffice to bail that field. Okay, so this would be the second generation of pigs for this episode. So this uh, in total should give us another 800,000 into our pockets. Yeah, so I guess it's somewhere here when I had a couple of times that bug where the vehicle would stall and then I couldn't save the game. And that should be, in theory, the last big delivery for today.
as usual I'm trying to split my uh, grain into four equal parts if it's possible So I will fast forward for some more time uh, while I'm still satisfying my, uh, my, the, food, the food needs of my pigs. I don't think today we will sell some more pigs. I guess I will just uh, work a little bit uh, in mixing some more cow food. Okay, so uh, I think we'll have to call it a day. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoy the video, as usual, don't forget to get it, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please do subscribe and please do come next time for a new video. Thank you all for watching. I wish you all a great day and I hope to see you all next time. Bye bye.